For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the magnitude of the moment of the 200 Newton force about the x axis. They want you to solve the problem using both a scalar and a vector analysis. So let's do the scalar analysis first. Let me turn it later. Okay. This is the scalar analysis. So first what you need to do is you need to find all the points involved. You got A, which sits at 0 in the I plus 0.3 in the J plus 0.25 in the K. So you got this vector right here. You got F. F is given, uh, all the uh, coordinate direction angles are given. So this is very easy to calculate. This is 200 cosine of 120i plus 200 cosine of 16 the j plus 200 cosine of 45 in the k. So this comes out to be minus 100 in the i plus 100 in the j plus 141.4 in the k. This is our force vector. So the scalar analysis, we got m of x. Now, they want you to find the moment about the x-axis. If I, x, I say x-axis, then we're going to be working, let's say if x, then we work with y and c. This is important. Just remember, if you work with the x, it's y and c. If you work with the y, it's x and c. And if you work with the c, it's x and y. But in this case, we're working with the x, so it's the other two, which is y and z. Which means you get c and f of y and y and f of c. c is just the other two and one of each that they want you to use the right hand rule. So for example, why is this one negative? Well, you get your right hand and you point your fingers towards the the z then you close them towards the y you close them this way and you're gonna get that your that your thumb is pointing in the negative x direction therefore it's negative and same thing with the y and y is positive if you point your fingers towards the y and you close them towards the c you're gonna get your right thumb pointing towards the positive x direction so whichever way you, you want to remember it <clears throat> is fine just remember to put the signs so when you replace the c the f of y this is the f of y this is the c let me just replace them here so negative 0 0.25 100 plus 0.3 141.4 and you get that this is equal to 17.4 newton meters because the force is given in newtons and the distances are given in meters so th this is the scalar analysis the vector analysis which is the one i prefer because it works on more cases and i think it's quick if you get good at it. The moment about the x is given by what you would say the moment about the x is given by the univector in the x and the product the cross product between the vector OA cross DF. This is the univector in the x just one in the x direction 0 0.3.25 is OA and F is negative 100 100 and 141.4 we write first and second column positive diagonals 1 times 0 0.3 times 141.4 is 
false and positive. It's like positive. Uh, zero times 0.25 times negative 100 is zero. Zero times zero times 100 is zero. Negative diagonals. First diagonal is zero because there's a zero. Second diagonal is negative times 100 times 0 0.25 times one is minus 25. So zero. And last one, there's two zeros, so it's just zero. When you add this up, you get the same answer. You get that it's equal to 17.4 Newton meters for the vector analysis. So vector analysis, you use the formula. Scalar analysis, you use the right hand rule and you just multiply the other two that you're not using. It's kind of quick on simple problems, but it can get confusing. So if you have a choice, I recommend the vector analysis. And if you're in a test and it's really important and you have time, I will do both. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.